All right, take two. Jeff going live. Now, I actually was in the store a little bit longer than I normally was. Uh, County Market does a great job at getting stuff out. I go to Hy-Vee and County Market, Walmart and Sam's. I think everybody in Quincy uses all the stores, so there's really no competition between them. So, anyway, I hope everybody's doing great. I am going to do something a little bit different tonight, and I got to settle down a little bit. Somebody just upset me because I put on there that, you know, I've been putting on facts about the coronavirus. 80,000 people have survived from it, okay? Everything is just fine with it. But somebody like, well, yeah, but you want to know something, Jeff? There, That doesn't mean there's going to be thousands and millions going to die from it. And I flat out went, I just kind of got mad. I was like, there's no facts saying that anybody else is going to die. There's no facts on that whatsoever. And even put that on my page upset me. So now what I'm going to do in order to cheer myself up is I actually got fresh strawberries. And I'm going to make strawberry pie. Yes, I am, everybody. So not only are we going to make some bread tonight, we're also going to make strawberry pie. And like I said, I like putting out the actual facts of the Corona. You know, it's a 98% survival rate. That means the flu still kills more people. You know, you, weak immune systems. Yes, you got to be careful with kids and adults that are sick and, ki and adults that um, have weakened immune systems. So just use common sense, okay? Don't ever put on my page that, oh my God, there's going to be millions that are going to die and there's nothing we can... No, that's fear mongering. And as much as I love the person that put it on there, I, you, you don't put that kind of crap on my page. That's just negative and that's not even truthful. And so, like I said, what is truthful is you can be out there every day making a difference by talking with people, saying, hey, saying please, thank you, being kind, being courteous. People are so nice today in a county market and over at La Gondola when I went over there, just really, really nice. So, you know, I, I suggest going around where people are nice and polite courtesy you know people are keeping their stores clean their restaurants clean you can only go pick up food i get that for right now because remember we went by la gondola but it's still good food okay so no matter what you want so go home eat it with your family have a good time i will be doing live feed with uh, making strawberry pie now they had strawberries on sale so of course i'm gonna buy a bunch of strawberries that are fresh and um gonna make us some strawberry pies and then also making um, some bread I'll show you guys some good quick ways of making Amish bread. I make everything by hand. You got to beat it out. It's a great time to get some, to lose some weight by uh, making uh, bread, uh, strawberry pie, make the crust by hand, and I will make the middle of the strawberry part by hand also. I'm using my mom's recipes. So anyway, that being said, I hope you're all having a great day. Like I said, if you're going to put something, don't put any fear mongering stuff. Do you know what the media, this fake media crap all across the board. You know, they're doing a bad enough job making people scared and fearful for their lives and everything else. To give you an idea, I, I'm lucky I keep some at home. I mean, they were completely out of bread flour and um, different types of yeast that you can get what I need for my bread. Luckily for me, I keep actu actually a lot of extra at home just because it can sit on the shelf for a while. And so I always kept that stuff at home anyway. So like I said, be good to each other. Have a great evening. Have a great day. We're going to be live here in a little bit making some bread and strawberry pie. And I just want you to know that, you know what? It's, start, it's time that we get the real facts out about telling the truth of what's really going on. People are great every day. Um, the road workers are out today and they've been doing a great job smiling, waving people on. You know, it's nice to see people out. And those people all need, you know, truck drivers are out moving the goods of the world, you know, pretty much right here in the United States. If it weren't for a truck driver, we wouldn't have it on our shelves. Let's put it that way. So make sure you're treating all the truck drivers with respect. If you see one over at like a McDonald's or a Wendy's or a Burger King, see if you can go through the drive through with them with your vehicle. You don't have to pay their stuff. Just see if you can go through with their vehicle. Because like I've been saying all day, that you're not allowed to walk up to a drive through window. So it's nice. These are little things you can do. If you're at home with your kids, write some letters, you know, stuff like that. You know, be as good as you can to each other. And like I said, have a great day. Anyway, if anybody needs anything, let me know. My name is Jeffrey Jansen, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye now.